You guys, they just announced we are getting another Hunger Games novel this March. This coming March. It's so close. Well, okay, it's semi close. Hey, Mitch Abernathy. I'm actually really excited. Am I a little bit nervous? Yes. I feel like so often nowadays we get kind of overkill. More spin-offs, kind of more prequels, and sometimes it kind of ruins the main lore. Except Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes didn't. They also released news that they're going to release a movie in 2026 about Hamish. I'm just waiting for Finnick O'Dare, but also is that gonna like, is that gonna ruin it all? I don't know. I feel like Suzanne Collins is smart enough to not ruin it. I am so excited for Hamish's story. I'm so excited to see how The Hunger Games was ran. 25 years prior to Katniss and Peeta. We're gonna kind of get a mix because we get to see President Snows, which was way early in the games. We got to see Peeta and Katniss's way later, and now we're seeing Haymitch's. We know enough about Haymitch and his story and his victory to be intrigued, but not too much that we'd be bored when reading an entire book about it. And I'm sure many of us in this fandom, we have watched fan-made videos. I have probably read fan fictions about it, but this is canon. And we know that Suzanne writes amazing canon because we know that he's kind of messed up from the games how he won by being brilliant and acting against the force field we know that suzanne collins adds romance in her novels so i'm very curious to see how haymitch's story involves romance or if there was any romance or if he had feelings and we know that he had guilt about the things that happened and the things that he did but he also had to survive and it shows in his character throughout the whole thing but he also didn't even want to live because he just became drunk. Tamage is one of my favorite characters. I was a little bit, it was a little bittersweet because I was almost expecting Finnick to be the next book if she were to write one which I wasn't even expecting another one. I don't know, I feel like with Finnick maybe she will write one. I mean we've had the trilogy and it was amazing. It is just amazing, thought-provoking, the pinnacle of dystopian novel. And now we have prequels being released over a decade later. And I feel like that was very smart of her. We aren't getting burnt out. It's more so like the diehard Hunger Games teens are just in their 20s, 30s, fangirling once again over her work. I think The Hunger Games is brilliant. It's something that can never become boring. I would also love to see Finnick's story, but I'm actually think I'm more excited about Haymitch's story. He survived the series, unlike Finnick and President Snow. So I wonder if they would play on to anything current and if they mentioned Katniss and Peeta. Cause that would be so interesting. This would be crazy. But if they happen to get like Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, but our boy, Woody Harrelson, and they happen to get everyone back, that would be so sick. I just don't know how it's gonna happen. I just, I think it'd be cool to see where they are currently. Canon. Like it wouldn't be fan fiction. It would literally be canon. That'd be so cool. Like President Snow's The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is so interesting because we get to see his conversion to being a villain. Finnick, I mean, this is terrible, but he dies. So we kind of know that everything we're watching is not, it's not in vain, but we know Finnick's story from beginning to end already, if that makes any sense. I mean, it would be really interesting to see Annie and him, their relationship. I would love that, but they would have to get the most perfect actors and actresses. They would have to. Hey Mitch, I, I don't know. Ah, I'm so excited. This is good news. This is good news. I am excited to see in Hey Mitch's head when he is sober <laughs> because we don't get to see that very often. This is fun. I'll be counting down the days, that's for sure. Can't wait to all read it together. That's Hunger Games news. May the odds be ever in your favor. Thanks.